Welcome to Phantom Paranormal. Um, I hope you guys don't unsubscribe from me for this video I'm going to make tonight. But that's what we're seeking. And I've had personal experiences that have happened to me. And um, well, I've gotten plenty of answers. I want you guys to know it may be kind of unsettling. One sec, guys. <clears throat> be kind of unsettling to know sometimes can you guys make the lights flash for me thank you appreciate it if you can show yourself in front of the light for me I would appreciate that as much as you can. Um, this is going to be a very personal video. Uh, I got asked about some of my experiences. Um, I was attacked by this entity. Uh, I don't know. The closest thing research-wise I could come up to it would be a succubus. And it happened to me. And it was very real. And I was frozen and couldn't move. And it wasn't a night terror or sleep paralysis uh, it only happened once um, so I do believe in the succubus and incubus uh, it had such an impact on my life that I spent so many years trying to find out what the hell it was. Um, so it's going to be a little controversial tonight. But I'm going to be asking some questions regarding sex in the afterlife tonight. Which I've already got answers for. Thanks for lighting the lights up for me. But I want you guys to know. Would you guys light up the lights for me? And make them blink? If some spirits. Try some of you. Spirit friends try to have sex with us while we're sleeping can you let make the lights blink for me if you try to make love to us when we sleep sometimes in our dreams and such would you mind lighting up the lights for me? If that's true. Mm, see, now they're going to be all quiet about it tonight. Mm -hmm. They're going to 
be quiet about it tonight. Yes, they are. Scanner activated. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello, is it, how is everybody? Lights out. Everybody having a good night? Got a question for you guys. Do you mind asking, answering me a few questions? Thank you. Ladies, ever try to have sex with me when I sleep? Thank you. I appreciate you being honest. Um. Ladies try to have sex with other men when they're sleeping as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being honest. A lot of people don't know about this. And I'm not being perverted about it. It's just a fact. Could you tell me the lady, uh, the last lady that, tr with the last lady that tried to have sex with me in my sleep, tell me your name, please. What was your name? Appreciate it. I felt you before. True? Yeah. Several of you ladies have tried, haven't you? <laughs> Several of you ladies have tried to have sex with me in my sleep before, haven't you? <laughs> Thank you. Some of you ladies have actually taken my seed, haven't you? Yeah. Thank you for being honest there. This happened to me before. And I know it's a weird subject. But it's something in the paranormal that needs to come out, and I'm going to be the brave one to do it. You ladies.
lady spirits like to have sex with us, don't you? Thank you. Thank you very much. You like rubbing on our male parts while we sleep, don't you? Thank you. I've experienced it. True. I have many spirit girlfriends. Hi. How are my ladies tonight? Thanks for talking to me about this tonight. As female spirits, you still get aroused, don't you? And ladies, and ladies out there, it's the same with the men, spirits. They do it to the ladies too. Don't you guys? Yeah. They sure do. I just wanted to get that information out there. Thanks for being honest. It's kind of funny to talk about, isn't it? But it's true. Very true, right? Can you tell me when I was younger the name of the lady that raped me in my sleep? What her name was? Actually, I was wide awake and frozen. Can you tell me who it was? You ladies like to feel on us men, don't you? I've felt you before many a times. I have. I just really wanted to get the subject out there because it happens. I wanted to be the brave one to bring it out. You ladies love to have fun with us when we sleep, don't you? about it? You ladies still get aroused, huh?
it's a fact, guys. And I wanted to be the one to bring it out. Would you say more than ten ladies try at least a night? Five. Twenty. Twenty. At least twenty. Or more. Twenty or more. You ladies have actually taken my seat before, haven't you? A lot of people aren't prepared to know that. How many of you guys out there try to have sex with ladies while they're sleeping? Quite a few, huh? I know you do, don't you? You ladies like to try to have sex with me when I sleep, don't you? In all seriousness, it is an issue, and it needs to be brought to light, and I wanted to be the brave one to do it. No, I'm not naked yet. So, for those people who do sleep nude, you better watch out. Right? Especially you ladies that sleep nude, you better watch out. True? True, guys? Come on now. Tell the truth. Light the lights up. It's happened to me a couple of times, to be honest, guys. But... It happened to me one time really bad in particular. I had a, a, a real, real hardcore experience. So did I have a female spirit try to have sex with me or was it a succubus? Or was it a succubus? Would you tell me? So I can know? I would appreciate it. Well, thanks for coming through. Okay, guys. I'm turning it off. So, now you guys know. Thank you for lighting the lights up. I wanted to make it known because it really does need to be known. And I didn't do this to be perverted in any way. 
I just wanted you guys to be aware. Um, some earthbound spirits still enjoy to try to have intercourse with us living people. And I'm not saying I am a spirit screwer by any means. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that it happens more often than not. And I had an experience and you guys wanted to know about some of my experiences. Well, I had a heck of an experience when I was younger. Mm, kind of like sleep paralysis, but it's, I was wide awake. I wasn't asleep. And uh, I was at my grandmother's house. And she used to have a mattress that she kept under her bed. And I would drag it out. And she had... I was raised by my grandmother. And I would drag it out. And she only had one TV. And I would drag it out in the living room where she kept the TV. And when I was in my teenage years and fall asleep watching TV and uh, yeah yeah and one night I was just laying on my back after I flipped off the TV just uh, just to go ahead and camp out and I was tired and I didn't even feel like going to my room um, I laid down on the mattress, and I felt hands on me. I couldn't see anything, but I did feel hands on me. Um, like on these shows where they say, I've been touched, I've been touched. It felt just like that. Well, that's what it felt like. I literally felt hands on me. I was laying on my back and I was totally paralyzed. Um, the next thing that happened was I got the most overwhelming sexual feeling that I can't even describe. I didn't see anything. It was just all feeling. Um, I got scared and kind of shook it off and didn't want to really believe what had happened. So I stood up and went to walk to the restroom to go to the bathroom and I passed through a static charged like I just walked through a static charge energy field and it passed right through my body and I almost fell to the floor. It was that strong. So I went ahead, mind boggled and baffled, went to the bathroom and I laid back down. And thought, Man, this is just some craziness. I don't know what's going on. So, I lay there staring at the ceiling with my eyes open, and nothing happened. So, I thought, well, I don't know what happened. I can't explain it, but I'm going to bed. I no more closed my eyes, and I felt the hands back on me again on my chest. The next thing I know, um, yeah, the next thing I know, I feel like energy's reaching inside of my stomach area. And I feel them go into my stomach like they're massaging something inside of me. 
and this is very embarrassing for me to talk about, but it happened, and I want to tell it like it happened. I got, you know, when you feel aroused, I've got this sensation of arousal a million times stronger than normal. And it was probably like a, a shot of heroin to a heroin addict or something to that effect. It didn't feel scary at that point. It felt loving. And I felt like it, it wasn't trying to harm me. It wasn't holding me down that at that point. But when I would open my eyes, it would stop. If I closed my eyes, it started back up again. And I rolled over on my side. And the next thing I know, I felt something, a hand on my ass, rotating in a circle, massaging my right butt cheek. And at that point, I was really too scared to look because it was a very, just like somebody was massaging my ass. This really happened to me, guys. And uh, I turned back over and got that funny feeling again, like something was digging into my stomach electrically. It's hard to explain. And got that arousal feeling. And being an adult, uh, being an adult about this, I got an erection. Being at the age I was when this happened, I was probably, I believe, around 19. I was actually engaged, but I was like, okay, well, it felt so good, it really did, it just felt great, it just felt like a warmth went all over my body, and I got, like I said, aroused by a feeling of normal arousal by a hundred. I got an erection, and uh, then I felt hands on my erection. So being a 19-year-old, uh, and curious to what was going on, since nothing was scaring me at that point, um, my personal item <clears throat> came out of my boxer shorts, and after that happened, I felt something jump on my chest again and start putting pressure, a hand on each of my chest, and something had intercourse with me to the point I reached full climax I don't know if it was a succubus I don't know if it was just a spirit that was possibly horny uh, I did a lot of research later to find out what it was it never happened again to that degree uh, the funny thing about it, though, was I reached full climax, and uh, there was nothing there. It took it. It took it. It took, to be an adult about it, it just, it took all of my semen, period. And... It just totally boggles the mind. 
it's one of those experiences that it happened. I would put my hand on the Bible and say it happened. It 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 it, it, it took my seed, and that's when I did research and found out about succubus and incubus. I didn't do anything to summon it, it or anything of the sorts. It just happened. Um, I was engaged at that point. Uh, it just happened. And that's my second paranormal encounter. And uh, it was very, very real. Very, very, very real. And uh, I just wanted to bring it to light. <clears throat> There are spirits, I believe, that do try to have intercourse, thank you, with us. And it, it happens every day to us when we're sleeping. Right, guys? Uh, I'm sure they don't want to thank you. For lighting the lights up and telling the truth, at least whoever did, thank you. I don't think it was a succubus because of the fact of the accounts I've heard. There was visuals. I had no visual. The just most confusing part of the whole thing to me was it took my seed and there was no seed at all. At all. And if any of you guys out there remember what it's like to be 19, um, <clears throat> big loads. And uh, it happened. So I just wanted to bring it out in the open and hope that everybody can handle this with maturity. Because it happens. Thank you. It happens more often than not than you think. So I hope you guys can handle this talkie with maturity. And don't start up with the you're a ghost fucker and things like that sort. Because I'm not. Um. I had an experience. I'm 43 now. I was 19 then. So, yes, that was my second paranormal experience. I've had several paranormal experiences. Um, so there's the truth about it. And take what you will. But it happened to me. And, uh, yep. Thanks for lighting up the lights, guys. Thanks for being honest. It helps me. I personally, my heart tells me it was just a lonely female spirit. Um, but it happened. So... I hope you guys can handle this with maturity, and uh, I just wanted to get it out there for you guys that sleep in the nude, um, that sometimes us men wake up with erections every day, and that's God's way of helping us not to piss on ourselves, but um, a lot of times when we think we're having a... a erotic dream uh, a little bit something else is going on I believe don't you guys so sorry this video was so long but I wanted to be the one to bring it out it happens so you might want to think about it uh, I sleep with 
a pair of underwear and boxers every night uh, since that night. So, it does happen. And I wanted to be the one to bring it out in the open because every aspect of the paranormal needs to come out. And it happened. Back in the time when it happened to me, when I told what happened, I told to someone that I trusted, a family member, and they put me in the OKC Crisis Intervention Center, and I ended up there for two weeks 